Hey everybody, my name is Rob and I have a pedal problem. Over my left shoulder, I have an assembled Ghost Drive kit, Mesa Badlander 100 in the crush setting, Mesa Vertical 212 with Celestion Vintage 30s, Shure SM57 going into the interface, and we have a Charvel with a JB in the bridge. The Ghost Drive is a Klon type, so think Horsey Man. Not sure why Ghost, but whatever. So the Ghost Drive, it's a Klon type overdrive pedal, and you can buy the kit from Stumac. They do not come assembled. You'll need to put it together. And I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you already know that. The kit itself is not that difficult. Take your time, follow the instructions. I was going to do some video of me soldering, laying out the components and all that. There's really no need to. There's components, they're in a box. Make sure everything's correct. Make sure it's all there. Check your work, solder. You'll have an assembled pedal. It's really that simple. If you don't have a lot of competency soldering, this is not the kit to start with. I would do some other wiring and get your soldering skills up to snuff. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there. There's plenty of things on Google you can look up uh, just to gain soldering experience. And then after maybe, you know, you can do a couple uh, clean connections. This might be a lot of fun. Just really take your time. That's what it comes down to. There's a lot of opportunities to make a mistake. And if you make a bad enough mistake, you can ruin your whole kit. So I have mine here. And I've noticed in uh, other pedal videos that I've done, I run into this. So I'm going to try to keep it upright. If I knock it down, I'm not going to keep fighting it. From left to right, we have gain, treble, and our drive. So we have an LED indicator here, as you can see. So when the light's on, it's on. I'm going to give you the bass tone of the amplifier, and then we'll kick the pedal on, and I'll just go back and forth through some of the settings here. So I do want to say this. The manual is well laid out. The board that comes with it, also has where the components go. It kind of feels like cheating, but honestly, it's not. Uh, it, just a lot of fun. Read the manual. When you look at this, it tells you step-by-step step where to put things. Just a, a lot of fun. I, I actually liked it so much that I bought the Screamer kit, and I need another overdrive, like I need a hole in the foot. So without further ado, let's get started here. So the first thing you'll hear is just the tone of the amplifier and then we'll engage the pedal. Oh, <laughs> 
I went back and forth in my order there, and I didn't mean to. So you can tell when it was on by the light. The first settings that we had on it, they sounded pretty similar. So I increased the gain, the tone, and then the output a little bit. You heard a little bit of noise here, and that's not the pedal. That's just how my basement is with the lighting and everything. Uh, I have a dedicated line that comes in, but I have a whole bunch of stuff that's uh, creating some little EMI um, issues there. So I'll get that rectified here. Anyway, that's not the pedal. The pedal's good. Let's get back to jamming. <laughs>
Won't be an accurate comparison, but we have one behind us. Why not take an archer and set it to about the same settings here? So my outputs here, my trebles here, and my gain is right there. Okay, yeah, let's let's do that. Like I said, it won't be accurate as a comparison, but it's something to do here since it's sitting here. I mean, why not? I guess I could get the tumness out and some of the other ones, but we're not going to. I want to get back to the Stu Mac pedal. All right, power this on. Power it off. Do the bass tone and then the tone with the pedal on. I don't know. It sounds pretty similar to me. I'm sure that any difference is probably component variable, ra variability rather than anything schematically. And I've had one of these apart. It does have the magic beans in it also. All right, back to this. Um, just because I have it here to do it, I'll put it in the clean channel. Now, for my style, I normally would not take a clean sound and then add an overdrive to it just to get a little bit of breakup. It's not what I would do. I like a really clean, clean channel and then a dirty channel that is... Compared to some of my other friends that play heavy metal music, I go with a little less gain than what they run. That way I can hit it with different boosts and then I end up into that extreme territory. Or I can roll back the volume and get some dynamics with it. So I'm gonna move it to the clean channel. I'm probably going to do a really terrible job of representing the pedal, but so far I really like what I hear with it. So clean channel, then I'll go back to dirty and we'll close this one out.
So there you have it. <laughs> it fell over. I knew it would happen. You son of a bitch, you. Um, there you have it, the Stumac Ghost Drive pedal. I had a lot of fun building the kit, and like I said, so much so, in fact, that I actually ordered the uh, Screamer kit, and I'm going to put that together this week. I expect I'll get a shipping confirmation today, and I'll have it by the end of the week. So I had a lot of fun doing this one. I kind of wish I would have done some of the sorting and all that on video, but it's resistors, it's capacitors, it's potentiometers. You put it together, you follow the instructions. There's a dude out there, his name escapes me. Uh, his production value is over the top. He's an older gentleman, bald like myself, uh, no beard though. I uh, definitely got him on that front, but his production is really, really well. He talks about his experience. He built a pedal. Um, he messed up the order of putting some of the capacitors in. And sorry, I was making sure I had this microphone on. Uh, he messed up the order of putting some of the capacitors in. And uh, then he burnt one up or broke it. Something happened. But Stu Max sent him a new one and all that. And the video is really, really cool. I'll put the link in the description. And I don't know the dude at all, but his production is really top notch and uh, his playing, his chops are really good, and he does a much better job representing the pedal in a context that's not just overdrive rock metal. Uh, don't think, though, that this isn't a, a rock metal overdrive. People have been using clons, tube screamers, super distortions forever, so give it a shot. If you have any interest in building the kit, I had a lot of fun doing it, and Honestly, I would put one together just to put another one together if I had nothing else to do. But, I mean, I don't have that luxury of not having something to do. I'll see you with another video. I have one uh, coming up here. I'm going to discuss uh, one of my Jakey Lees. Uh, I've been telling a dude I'm going to do it for a while. So the next video, if it's not a YouTube short, will be that video. So the next full-length video will be that guitar. All right, I'll see you soon. Take care.